Hey, my name is Gab Clouser. I'm 14 years old. I'm from Reno, Nevada, and I've been riding for nine years. I've grown up in North Nevada. I've been sponsored by Reno KTM, Mob Syndicate, Team Sinister, uh, Michael's Reno Power Sports, Fly, and that's mostly the local people and my parents, my mom and dad. Well, when I started, I was racing 50 novice, 50 beginner, 50 intermediate, and then worked up my way on the 60s. I've been to Mammoth, Motocross, Dodge Amateur Nationals, all like all the West Coast Reno Crosses. I just got a new sponsorship. I ride for Team Lufast. As you can see, the graphics are pretty sick. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Lufast is mostly a freestyle team, but I'm lucky enough to be one of the first motocross riders. Favorite, Favorite thing about motocross is probably how you feel free. February 9th, 2013, I broke my C3, C4, C5 vertebrae and entered the world of paralysis. I came around to the straightaway over here, got up on the back wheel a little bit, hit the jump and landed on my back and I uh, woke up, I don't know, I, I never passed out but I blacked out, don't remember much. And then I woke up, couldn't feel nothing and pretty scary. I woke up um, about I don't know, 20 minutes later maybe, right before they were about to take me to the hospital and uh, they loaded me into the ambulance and I talked to them on the phone with my mom for a second and they pulled me out of the ambulance. I just remember people walking over me, looking at me and it was real scary because you can't feel nothing and you don't know what's next really, you just got to kind of go with it and then the next thing they took me down the hallway and put me in the MRI. The whole time I was in the MRI, I just kept remembering thinking about the next time I'm on my bike, the whole time. And then they pulled me out of the, they pulled me out of the MRI, I went back up to the room, I passed out, or I fell asleep on the, on the gurney, woke up in a halo actually, and when you wake up and you can't move your head, you can't feel nothing, it's real scary, it's a real scary experience. It's been a real tough experience, but the uh, person that's been there probably the most out of any friend I've ever had is, is my girlfriend. She's been there through the whole thing. The one person I could count on no matter what to always be there. She was there every day in the hospital. She never left my side. I mean, things get tough, but we've managed to keep it pretty, pretty good. My name is Jordan Miller. I'm Gavin's girlfriend, and the day that he got hurt, I was in San Jose at one of my chair competitions. It was a two-day competition and it was only Saturday and we had to perform the next day too. And I just remember that Gavin's mom got a call that something happened to Gavin at the track and they wouldn't tell us what was happening. And um, she just kept going out of the convention center crying on her phone and I, I knew something was wrong. And so did his little sister that was with us and they just wouldn't tell us and then they took our phones away and wouldn't let us look on Facebook or do anything. And I remember that um, Okay, uh, Gavin's mom wanted to, um, his sister to talk to him after we performed. We were performing at different times. So I was like, when you talk to him, let me ask him if I can call him. And she said, okay. So I remember I went into warm-ups like thinking, you know, everything's going to be okay because they told me he was going to be fine and I just tried to focus on cheer. And I remember coming off stage and I saw his mom and my mom and his sister standing right there and they were all crying. And they finally told me that like he broke his neck and I just ran out of there crying and I didn't know what to think. I was so scared, like I was in shock and I just didn't know what to do. And we couldn't go see him till the next day because we had to stay in San Jose. Then we had to rush home the next day to come see him. And... During my 10 year career, I've probably won, I have won so many races that I honestly can't count. Don't want to sound cocky, but uh, you just can't count them in local championships and a couple national championships, but it's just, there's so many to count. And just. Every week in a race and those trophies just stack up and stack up, so it felt good being good at something, that's for sure.
I know I have a pretty tough situation in life, but um, I know people have it worse than me, and I know people have it better than me, but uh, I know I will walk again. I know things are tough now, but making going to NeuroWorks, a company out of Salt Lake, I have made huge steps, and by going there, I will continue making those steps, and I will walk again. NeuroWorks is real positive when you walk in the door. They always encourage you, and it's not it's not a, oh, you can't do it. It's a, we will get you to that point and you will do it. And yeah, it's hard work and you're sore every day, but it's so much, it's so worth it when you think about the future that you'll have by going there and getting better. There's one thing I want people to take from uh, my injury, honestly, it's uh, stay positive. You know, you don't really know, you don't really have it hard. Like somebody out there's always got it harder than you.